Gets a better stereo effect. Bobby, you hit my knuckle. I'm sorry. That's the most I've heard him talk on television in a couple of years. Paul Bosch has been predicting the downfall of the Midnight Express for years and years and years. Every Friday night in that Sam Houston Coliseum for years, he predicted the downfall of the Midnight Express, and we emerged with the belts and our hands raised high in the air. So, Paul Bosch, you may have a social security number of one, but you don't know everything about wrestling. Fantastics, you may be able to do a sloppy imitation of the rocket launcher, but you have not mastered it. You have not perfected it. You can't do it like the Midnight Express can do it. And every tag team and professional wrestling is going to have to take note that what we do to the Fantastics, what we do to the Fantastics, just like we're doing to that big fat collie, we can do to anybody else. Big bear That's collie to you. Big fat collie is what his name is. That's why we're after the Fantastics. Because we got to prove by you doing anything possible to get them out of professional wrestling that no other team can come and do the same thing to us that they did, which is enter in a conspiracy to try to embarrass us. Do you realize that? Well, I sure realize that you've been doing a lot of talking. You want to go get a drink of water? I don't need water. I don't need food. I am existing. I am subsisting. I am literally living and breathing the thought of seeing those two little pukes, those two little monkeys. Skins, those two little goofs, those idiots, those morons, those fantastics. The thought of seeing them in a hospital with sandbags holding their appendages up and a flea collar around their neck. And that is the rocket launcher right there. And that is what is going to spell the end of the fantastics. They will not be the U.S. champions. Whoa, whoa, whoa settle down. Oh, my goodness. He needs a warm glass of milk and a cookie. Maybe his mom will furnish that tomorrow when she's on the front row in Greensboro. Second straight week that Jim Cornette has really gone on the edge there. Yeah. He's teetering right there, I guarantee you that. He's tomorrow, this is, a, this is a great move, though. Yeah, I'll it is. You. And both teams can execute. We're talking about the Fantastics of Midnight Express. Head up tomorrow, the Clash of Champions, 4 o'clock Eastern time. Who will win? We'll, we'll find out. That's a real working lunch.